Well, I don't know about you, but now I can relax. <laughs> we uh, come to the uh, final item of the evening. It is a suite in three movements. I emphasize that because it's not typical to applaud after the first movement or the second. You just wait till the end. And I know that's kind of a no-brainer, except the first movement sounds like it's over. <laughs> so do not be fooled. There's more to come. Three movements. Um, the, the title is, uh, is kind of a curious one, but those who read the Psalms will know that often that's designated uh, at the top of the Psalm to Asaph or to the chief musician. And uh, I had the good fortune to work with many wonderful uh, territorial leaders during my 38 year stint in Chicago. I told the Salvation Army I'd, I'd give them three years, and it just ended up a little longer than that. But during that 38 years, I really felt like Will Rogers. I never met a person I didn't like. I mean, it was just a, a great environment to work in. And certainly one of the great ones to work with was Commissioner Richard E. Holtz, the famous New York staff bandmaster and a publisher of so much uh, Salvation Army music before any of the other territories were, were publishing anything. New York was publishing band journals and all kinds of things, and he was the guy behind it. So I rather worried when I heard he was going to be my leader because I thought, will he be an armchair bandmaster? Will he be saying, hey, you know, I would rather you play that march than this march or, you know, that's, he was not that way at all. He was such an encourager. And there's so many times where he'd call me up to his office and usually when the commissioner calls, your first thought is, what did I do? Wrong. And, uh, and in fact, it wasn't anything like that. It was, he just wanted to discuss ideas. He wanted to talk about music and where the army music was going and who brought us this far. And it was so enlightening to me. So when it came time for his retirement, I was asked to write a piece in his honor. So I thought, well, if anyone is the chief musician in the Salvation Army, it's Richard E. Holtz. So hence the title. But then it was built around their, both Richard and Ruby, their three favorite songs. The first one, I was told, was Qumranda, to which we associate the words, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. So I started off on that first movement and writing it. And when I got all done with it, I thought, well, the, I always do this. I go to the tune book to just make sure I got every note in the tune correct. You know, I had the wrong tune. It's supposed to go, guide me, oh, thou great Jehovah. That's not the way this one goes. And it was 2 o'clock in the morning. I looked over that score, and I said aloud, Commissioner Holtz, you have a new favorite tune. Because there's, <laughs> there's no way I can change this. But the words still associate. So you'll hear this introit uh, based on guide me, oh, thou great Jehovah. But one I did get right was Evangeline Booth's lovely song, I Bring Thee All. Beautiful, beautiful text. And that's the second movement, which is entitled Sacrifice. And then the third movement is based on his absolute favorite tune, which we know of as Boston. Bandsmen know this as Boston in the tune book, but you would know it better as When I Survey the Wondrous Cross on Which the Prince of Glory Died, a great text of Isaac Watts. And so the final movement is all based in some way on the tune Boston and that thought. So we bring this to you in three movements. It was quite a wonderful evening when we surprised him with this piece. And he had no idea that it was coming. But being a musician, I just handed him the score, and we played it through for the very first time in the Cathedral of St. James in Chicago. Massive architecture. And to see the master turn the score and follow it note by note, it was a sight to behold. So you'll understand that it's no accident that my son is named Eric after Eric Ball, and Richard after Richard Holtz, the chief musician. Thank you. 
The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, thou will not despise. I bring thee all my sins. None can forgive but thee. I bring thee all.